Hi, my name is Paula Brun and I'm 17 years old. I wanted to adopt a dog ever since I was a little girl and I really wanted to help the dogs that didn't have homes. I had one dog, his name was Zeus. Well, my family and I, we all went to the beach and we had someone watch him for us. Uh, they left the gate open and he ran away and he was hit by a car. Made me feel awful, I'm gonna cry right now. Um, when I was little, I used to sing my ABCs to him and he'd sleep with me every night and when I got scared, um, sleeping in the dark. Um, he was my best friend. Knowing that there are so many dogs out there that don't have a home um, really inspired me to go and try to find one that was the best match for me. Buying a dog from a breeder did come in mind, um, but I knew that some, that's something that I didn't want to, well, I didn't want to do because there are so many dogs that don't have homes. So I, I did my research, I went on the internet and I tried to find as many dogs as I could that best matched me and my family. So eventually the time came where her parents allowed her to get another dog. Our local shelter, they had an event and it was at Tractor Supply and um, it was, they brought maybe 15 to 20 dogs all to the Tractor Supply so they could have a chance of adoption. Me, my mom, my aunt, and my boyfriend Parker, we all went to Tractor Supply to, to find a dog. And we had a certain dog in mind. It was the Beagle. Um, and when we met her, she, she, she was a sweet dog. She was a very sweet dog, but I guess it wasn't the best match. Um, so then we asked for a dog that was potty trained because that's a big factor. And I, I was thinking about adopting a puppy, but they're harder and their chances of getting adopted is higher. Adopting a dog that's already pretty grown up is they don't really get adopted that often. So he, they said that they had one dog with them and it was Cooper and he was uh, a part of the New Leash on Life is an organization that Randolph County provides um, just a, uh, maybe like four dogs and they train them uh, they they train them to sit to just cute little tricks Cooper was in a in a kennel and he was all the way in the back and there he was with beside another dog and he was really cute too um, he was beside another dog and the dog came right out the, the crate and he started licking me and everything and I was like is this him and they said no it's him and he was all the way in the back and I was like okay so they pulled him out um, so then the girl that was helping us she started uh, showing us the tricks that he could do and she let me walk him around the tractor supply and I felt an emotional connection with him and she ended up finding Cooper and Cooper ended up finding her. I felt like he needed me and I needed him. Paula first saw Cooper, she was just glowing with happiness and with joy. And you could tell Cooper was, he's been abused um, at some point in his life, but when he saw Paula, he just walked right up to her and started, you know, wagging his tail and acting like he knew her his whole life. And it was just a beautiful scene. We were gonna wait a while to see if we could possibly find another dog and I was sitting down like this and he always does this thing where he like gets his like little nose and he goes like, he like nudges me or whatever and like he puts his head like right here and he did that and I was like, oh, I have to have it. So then we signed the papers and Oh, and me and, me and Parker, we already had a collar because we thought we were going to get a girl dog, but we ended up getting a boy dog. So we already had a collar and it fit him perfectly, and we took him home. When he came home with us, uh, we, we couldn't tell if, if he was shy or not. Uh, the second day, he would hide under the bed a lot. A lot. When we first took Cooper home, um, 
he acted like he didn't know me. He didn't want to be around me. He was very scared, um, very shy, and I think in a way he felt unprotected because he wasn't used to us. Like, at any chance he could, he would hide under the bed to the point that we had to put stuff under my bed for him to not go under the bed and hide. I had a really hard time with him being shy because whenever I wanted to take him to um, PetSmart and get him food and toys, he shakes very bad because he has lots of anxiety and he doesn't like too many people, like big crowds and stuff. And um, you know, that, that's something that I, that I really wanted in a dog to be able to take him anywhere I go. At some points, I was very frustrated with uh, having a dog where I, I couldn't take him the places that I wanted to take him to and do the things that I wanted to do with him. Um, so I felt that I couldn't help him in the way that maybe he needed it, but I came to a realization that he really needed me and there was no no one else that could probably help him the way I could, I could help him. Well, I need him because coming home every day, he jumps up to eye length just because he's so happy to see me. So having that, um, I love that. He needs me to show him that not everyone is a bad person and to, to show him love and, and just having a good family. He has changed dramatically from the first week that I got him. Uh, he, he would not come near Parker, and he had adopted us with him. It took, maybe, it took him maybe around two weeks to get used to Parker. He has changed tremendously. Um, he's always, you know, as soon as I come in the door, the first thing he does is jump on me like crazy. Uh, he was very weak. When we first got him, you could kind of see his his ribs, but not too much. But you could see them uh, when. But now he we we feed him twice a day, morning and night. He's not as shy with the family anymore. He was scared of every man that was in the family, but he loves them all now, and he jumps on them just like he jumps on me. Confidence level. His confidence level has grown a lot. At first, he. Um, he would greet me at my room. His safety place is at my room, so he would greet me at my room, but now he'll greet me at the door. So he has stepped over his um, boundaries. I've had him for a year and four months now. He still has some areas of where he can have growth in, but he's getting there. Adopt on shock. And not only for dogs, but for any animal that, you know, we tend on getting, we should always look to adopt first because these are animals that need love and that don't have homes. I think everyone should consider adopting because not only does it save them, but it saves another dog or cat that is taking their spot in the shelter. Adopt, don't shop. Always look around before you, you buy, and um, just know that there's a lot of great animals out there that need loving and that need homes. There's only a certain amount of dogs and cats that can be in a shelter, according to the county law. And if you, once you adopt, you save them and another animal, and it makes you feel better. And you also get a best friend out of it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Cooper. Bye, Cooper. Say, save my brothers and sisters. Yo. Oh, so heavy. oh yeah. Hey, Bobby. Oh, is this a picture? Oh, the oh, video. Wait, 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 <laughs> say anything? Goofy.